Welcome back to Team Miss Play YGO, guys. It's been quite a while. We're back here with the new Fire Kings deck profile for the 2024 uh, January list. Uh, this is pre uh, the bonfire release. Um, stay tuned for updated deck profile when we get the bonfires. The deck just changed a lot. Also, we do get a lot more support in the new set. Uh, so this is currently how we're playing it. So we're going to... Uh, this deck isn't going to be this way much longer, but hey, I'm going to hey, might as well give you a deck profile of what we've been playing while it lasted before Bonfire and Populist come out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and begin with the main deck. Uh, first, our starter card, our bread and butter. We have the three Ponics. Um, at this point, everybody pretty much knows what Fire Kings did. Uh, Ponics, one card combo, this card is really good. Um, some people play less than three. Me, if it's a one card combo, there's no way in hell I'm not gonna play three copies of it. It just makes sense. Card's really good. Uh, next we have three Kieran. Uh, Kieran's another really good uh, uh, searcher, special summon on your uh, opponent's turn. Another card you can play two of, but I personally like it at three. Um, uh, two, the Sacred Fire King, Garunex. Uh, Garunex is really good, I'm, I'm only playing two. Uh, you could cut this down to one. Uh, three is definitely too bricky, lot like way too cloggy. Would I recommend playing three? Uh, in regards to the other Fire Kings, the main one we're popping off going next. Uh, it's gonna be our Fire King Avatar Barong. Barong's really good when you uh, pop it. Gives you the search on your opponent's uh, standby phase. Also it gives you that attack boost. Uh, we have the two Fire King Avada. Uh, Vada's really good. Uh, some people play it at three, and I see why, because you always want to resolve it. Uh, it's really good when you're grinding, uh, but I've they had a lot of success with two. I think two is just fine. Uh, I will say it's spicy tech, but it's not a spicy tech. I'm not doing nothing innovative here, but hey, good card's a good card. Uh, triple Kestra Fenrir. Fenrir self-explanatory. Um, I don't even know why. I, you know, this card is just busted. Uh, definitely want to start playing the one um, Rise Heart as well because there's a lot of synergy there with the with it being a fire and there's an extra body on the board. Uh, definitely need to get my hands on one of that. Um, in this deck, we are playing the one the Wanted package, so I have the one be a Bell Star. Um, I was playing this at two. Uh, two does come up because it does get a hit, but with the recyclability, you'll find you're fine with just one. One is just pretty good. Uh, one Snake Eye Oak uh, for generic Snake Eye combos to have. Um, one Snake Eye Ash and the one Snake Eye Flamberg Dragon. Uh, for our spells, we have two Fire King Islands. You know, it's part of the combo. If they hit one, you have the second one for backup. Uh, two Sanctuaries. Sanctuaries is really good. Fun fact, when I bought my three structure decks, one of my structure decks was missing one of these cards. So I only play two because I only own two. So Konami, you own me a Sanctuary. Um, the other Fire King spells, we have the One Circle, really strong. Uh, the One Skyburn, really good when you're OTKing, uh, especially in the mirror match. One thing about this deck, you play the mirror match a lot. So, siding to counter your mirror match is not incorrect. Honestly, you can just concentrate on, on beating the mirror match and you will do well in tournaments. Um, the three Wants and Sinful Spoils, the one original... Uh, original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Um, I'm also playing two Lightning Storms uh, because, in, like I said, this deck is very mirror match heavy. A lot of Fire Kings uh, going second. You're not guaranteed to win the die roll. So I like having options of going second to help me easily play through boards, remove back roll. Also, Labyrinth is a thing. Uh, the one Change of Heart because Change of Heart is really good. Uh, my Spicy Tech, the one Monster Reborn because when is Monster Reborn ever not good? One Harpy Feather Duster, because it's Feather Duster. I don't like losing the back row. Uh, the one Call by the Grave, literally one of my favorite cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's. I will not play a deck without it. Uh, we have Triple Ash and Triple Imperm for Head Traps. So this right here is a 40-card main deck. Uh, this is what we're playing. Now. Um, I really like how it's been handling so far. Um, like I said, we are getting uh, more support, and when that comes, the deck will change. Uh, we're going to take it to our extra deck. We have one Fire King, the uh, Guru Next Eternity, Heyang of the Fire King. So the Fire King Exceed. Uh, in addition with the one Exceed, I am playing the one Zeus. And uh, in addition with the Zeus, I am playing the one Anti-Zeus. 
Uh, going second, this is really easy to make. Sometimes it's, it's, it's really good just to sit on this and just beat over, you know, small, like smaller monsters or if someone has a really impressive board, this is a real good way to kind of slow them down. Uh, we have the One Link Kariba, the One Salamangrate Almirage, One Relinquish Enema, uh, the One Sight Sunlight Wolf uh, as part of the combo, uh, another Hita, another great card in this deck. Uh, Dark Charmer, because the Dark Ones is always really good. It's never been bad. Uh, one IP Mascarena. One SP Little Knight. One Deco Tarkahitsu. One Access Code. One Appalooza. And one Underworld of the Closed Oh, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Uh, that's it for our main deck. Um, I do have the, the new Saddle Link 4 for the combo, the Raisin Phoenix. Full disclosure, I just got to learn how to do that combo before I can incorporate it in the deck because this is a relatively new deck to me and I am still learning it. Um, uh, this format, what I'm running in the side deck, uh, pretty standard. Uh, we have our triple evenly. Uh, you know, you can never be too prepared against back row. Uh, more back row hate with the triple Cosmo Cyclones because, you know, Labyrinth is a deck. Uh, the equip spells and um, the fire decks are going to be coming out. So back row move is going to be important. Uh, the Nibiru, because, you know, it's Nib, uh, it's very good in this format. Uh, triple Joel and Lock, uh, you know, searching, search heavy decks, we gotta shut that down. And for a little bit, uh, more hand trap power, depending on the matchup, three Effect Veilers. Effect Veilers really good, because, you know, nine ones for turning gates, just my third, fourth, and sixth copy of, uh, uh, Infinite Impermanence. Uh, anyway, that's our deck profile today. Um, I know I haven't been much active on the channel, but that will change this year. Um, I'm getting back into the game. I, I refound my love for the game. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more deck profiles coming up, a lot more different decks, uh, especially when the next set come out. Uh, I believe uh, Maze of Millennium comes out next week. Uh, stay tuned for a uh, Flame Swordsman deck profile. That's another deck I'm looking forward to playing with. I'm going to bring you that one. And uh, when our next... Phantom, um, I think it's Phantom Nightmare come out. Stay tuned for a Goblin Biker Profile. I've been working on that deck for quite a few months and I have a really strong build that I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, if, again, if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for, this is uh, Team Misplay YGO, the original, not no imitators. Uh, feel free to give me a like and subscribe and comment below any thoughts and opinions. Uh, thank you.